All right, folks, welcome back to Bullets for Bucks. My name's Steven. This is the 2022 SHOT Show, and I'm here reviewing this Monza bolt-action rifle uh, made in Turkey, and this gentleman is going to explain their new bolt-action rifle for me. Uh, can you go over some of the features and what, where this rifle is made and what uh, calibers it's available in? Hello, Steven. Thank you very much. First, my name is Burak. Uh, we call Monza to our new uh, bolt-action rifle. We are working for like 20 years in the industry. Uh, we have a very successful shotgun, which has been sold being in the US for like okay. maybe more than three years now. And uh, we just introduced this bolt action rifle, the, which is being sold in some countries, uh, in Asia, Europe, uh, Latin America, but in US it's not being sold yet. It's a 308 bolt action rifle. The main idea behind this is that we try to keep it as simple as possible uh, and to give a chance to end user to customize uh, according to their needs. We put a T-handle bar in the box so you can just unscrew these two and remove uh, pretty much everything. This is very light and also yeah. balance point is good because the main reason we designed this for wild board hunting so which you basically shoot from you know standing point it's not something you put on a right. tripod right. and try long range uh, shootings this is fast easy to make follow-up shots uh. and it comes with a uh, four plus one detachable magazine it has a picatinny rail here and okay. we have a hidden rear sight buried in the Rail. Oh, that's so, really unique. I've never seen that before. I mean, there are two reasons for that. One, we don't make any molding on the barrel mm -hmm. uh, to prevent, you know, uh, toughness changes in the barrel material. Uh, this is adjustable for vintage and elevation. Mm -hmm. You can remove the front side if you don't need it when using with optics. You can remove the Picatinny rail if you want and put two pieces, just regular mount okay. bases. It has an adjustable uh, comb. cheek piece, cheek adjustable piece. Okay. comb. And I will just lower this to show you the bolt. Yeah, I really like that it has an easy to adjust uh, cheek riser or comb. You just turn that dial and it'll go up and down. Um, and uh, as I said, the basic and simple was the idea. You can remove the bolt easily and actually you can take everything apart without any tool. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, imagine you had some sort of trouble, yeah. uh, water, Super. dirt, anything you know, yeah. in the field. And I see so it's a two lug bolt design two with a lugs. plunger yeah. ejector. Yes. And yes, it looks yes. like kind of a, I mean, they, we call that here a Seiko style extractor, I believe, but. Yeah, it's, um, not, it's not controlled field, it's a push field. Correct, and then what is, what is the bolt throw? Do you know how many 60 degrees? degrees. 60, 60 degrees. so that's really nice because that makes it a little quicker and easier to operate or manipulate the bolt. Yes, um, yes, it yes. felt really smooth in the receiver when I ran it. Um, is the trigger a single stage or two stage trigger? Uh, trigger is single stage but uh, adjustable in three dimensions. I mean you can adjust the length of pull, you can uh, adjust or eliminate creep and over travel. I mean you know there's this take up I think in US you don't like take up. Uh, no, no, yeah. Well, I I I like two stage triggers, but most of the US uh, like single stage or where it's, there's no take up. Um, you can you, you can take this to uh, okay. all the way down to zero. And you said you can adjust for length of pull. Yeah, it goes uh, you know forward and backward around like half inch. Wow, okay. that's that's pretty unique. And it, the weight, uh, how low can it be adjusted? Can it be adjusted? Uh, of course, the weight is also adjusted, but I can say in metric system, I okay. cannot. Well, we'll go ahead. And you can <laughs> still right. tell me. Uh, you can you can lower it as all the way down to 600 grams, okay. 650 grams, which I find dangerous personally. Uh, right. But all the way up to two kilograms. Okay, and I see it has like a Picatinny rail Picatinny on the front rail here. For, I mean. We have both Picatinny rail and for here, you know, for attaching a strap. Right. Picatinny rail is mostly used for uh, bipods. Mm -hmm. and it's pretty popular in Europe, especially. And we have a two-stage safety. Okay. When you lock, I mean, when safety is on, uh, you lock the bolt also. Oh. And when safety is off, everything goes I like on. that it locks the bolt because as a hunter, it can get caught on brush yeah, and I come mean, open. Um, 
And then, so I see it has the bolt yeah, release bolt on the bolt left side. The left it side. has a cocked indicator on the rear of the bolt right mm -hmm. here. Um, like polymer stock, is there any kind of bedding, like pillar bedding in the stock or? Uh, we have, what do you call it? It's not pillar bedding. Yeah, we have pillar bedding here. Okay. But we don't have bedding. I see. But it's, you know, uh, as I said, uh, we designed it in a way to make it customizable right. for the end user. Uh, end users can make bedding uh, okay. inside very and easily yeah. if they if they like right. to play with their guns in that and way. is it is it uh, available in any other calibers at this time for this time we only make 308 but okay. 6.5 30 or 6 will follow soon uh, okay. 308 is pretty popular in every country uh, right so we are uh, selling to more than 40 countries both okay. of uh, our guns and it looks like to me it looks like the barrels free floated yeah, i i don't know if that's correct free floating barrel is four groove and four sets okay. uh, we have 20 22 and 24 inch barrel okay. lengths and twist uh, is 110 okay. in uh, 20 and inch is this barrel hammer forged or uh, no be button rifled it it's not button barrel, rifled okay uh, button rifled we get better accuracy uh, okay. and one uh, under one MOA guaranteed in okay. 100 yards or 100 meters. And then we have, I, I see we have a like a walnut, is that walnut or? Yes, it's a, we have Turkish walnut. If you're going for the classic look, they have it available in wood and a bunch of other colors as you can see behind us, which is pretty cool. I mean, we are kind of known with our color options okay. because <laughs> we like to play and is with this, the, what coating is this? This is some sort of Cerakote, okay. I can say. This is not exactly Cerakote. Uh, we do a lot of Cerakote options, but this is something else. Uh, and this but one's very durable. sorry, this one's uh, threaded as well, so you could put a muzzle brake or suppressor of on course, it. Of course, I mean, if we sell to US, uh, this will come as a standard probably. Okay. I mean, we'll make the barrel threads, uh, and we can make different sides of threads. Uh, it's not an issue. In this version, you see we removed the Picatinny rail. Uh, we should remove this one also. And I see, is this yes, this metal? Is aluminum. But that's Full aluminum. Metal. And so that one that, comes with a metal trigger guard. Yes, that's that's just a show off, just to mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. show that what we can do. Uh, I mean, if you look at the wood and metal mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. you understand. And as I said, only two screws. You can remove the wood one and put a plastic if you want mm -hmm. to treat it bad. Mm -hmm. uh, or if you want a classic look uh, mm -hmm. in your home, you can always put a, a great right. three, four Turkish walnut on it. This also comes with adjustable cheek piece, cheek piece mm -hmm. adjustable comb riser. Uh, in basically, this is pretty much it. This is solid, mm -hmm. durable, simple design, yeah. guaranteed to work and yeah. guaranteed uh, accuracy. So we we didn't get yeah. much complaints about it. Yeah. Uh, that's I mean, it, it seems like a, a, a good feature set. I like that that trigger blade can adjust, or you can adjust the trigger forward and backwards, and then it, you can adjust it to a light weight. Um, and then the fact that it has like sights built into it already, especially into that rail, is something pretty unique. So uh, thank you for uh, speaking with me, and I thank look forward to much. taking thank a further look at the rifle. Thank you very yeah. much. Have a nice day.